Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. One of the side effects of what's going on with the coronavirus pandemic right now is that a lot of places are closed and that includes dentist offices. I know that for myself, I was fortunate that my dentist visit uh, was scheduled just before the coronavirus started spreading across the United States, but not everyone was so lucky. And even for myself right now, I'm wondering when's the next time I'm going to be able to go in and get a high quality cleaning with a dentist. I know that uh, I've received information from dentists uh, talking about their practices are starting to reopen and they're talking about the things that they'll be doing and the things that they won't be doing. And one of the things that they won't be doing is anything that might send aerosolized particles up out of someone's mouth, though, like those uh, mechanical toothbrushes to kind of spin around and, and do kind of a deep cleaning on your teeth. They're not going to be doing a lot of those things. And while I'm sure if I talked to them, they'd assure me that everything's going to be fine and those things aren't really all that important and they can give me high quality service anyway, it begs the question, well, if those things were so useless, why was I paying you to do those things for all the years prior to the pandemic? So I think it's reasonable to think that even if we decide to go back into the dentist and kind of chance the idea of exposing ourselves, you know, being out in a public public place, clearly you can't wear a mask during a, a dentist visit. You know, even if we decide to go out and do that, there's a, a question as to the quality of the service you're going to be receiving. So it becomes maybe extra uh, important to do high quality cleanings at home to try to minimize the amount of damage that's happening to your teeth between high quality dental cleanings. One tool that I picked up recently that I absolutely love, and, and for anyone that's watched my channel, you know that I don't do a ton of gear reviews, but when I find something that I think is great, I like to share it with you. Also occasionally when I find something that's terrible. Uh, uh, I found something wonderful for taking care of teeth and I wanted to share it with you today. It is a set of dental tools, in particular a, a, a dental scaling pick, and I have found it to be uh, terrifyingly useful. And by when I say terrifyingly useful, I mean when I use it after I floss and I brush my teeth and everything, it is still pulling an enormous amount of material off my teeth and it just makes me think about all the years that I was brushing and flossing and thinking that that was adequate uh, and it so clearly is not. So I want to share this tool with you today, but first what I wanted to do is show you how I actually use it and that is by Whoa, where is it? <laughs> and that is by brushing my teeth first. So I'm going to brush my teeth and floss my teeth and I will fast forward it so it's not so boring for you guys. But then at the end, after I do all this brushing and flossing, and you'll be able to watch to see how much I'm doing, after I do it, I would like you to pay attention to see how much is really left after you or I do a really high quality brushing and flossing. And then you can make your own decision about whether a dental pick is something that you might want for yourself. So here we go. So I'm all brushed up and now I'm going to floss. And this is the part that really surprised me is that the area that I'm going to be scraping with the scaler tool is the same area that I'm going to be flossing right now. And it just astonished me how much you miss even if you're a really prolific flosser. So here we go with flossing. So we're all set with that. I'm just going to rinse because it's always a good idea to kind of rinse whatever I dislodge. All right, and all set. Now, normally at nighttime, I would use like a dental rinse after that or something, but you normally would think I brushed, I flossed. Boy, I must have gotten everything out of there. Well, well, let's see. I'm going to put on a special little uh, lens on here so you can get a nice close-up of my teeth while I do this. And we'll see how much is left after doing a pretty good uh, flossing and brushing. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking this tool and very gently 
pulling it along the edges of the teeth down by the gum line. And I do want to emphasize gently, this is a metal tool and you don't want to be aggressively scraping at your teeth, you could damage them. But even with just this gentle uh, pulling along the gum line, you can see how much material is coming off. Uh, and this is after brushing and flossing. If I hadn't used this tool, all this material would have just been sitting on my teeth all night into the next day and it's gross, you know, and it's not good for you. It's, it's unhealthy to have all this material on there. So if you'd like to get this material off of your teeth as well, I'd highly recommend uh, getting this tool. I put a link down in the description to the specific tool that I'm using here, but, you know, I presume anything would really work as long as you're targeting these areas and cleaning them up with something because this is a lot of material to just be neglected. So that's it. Good luck. Get to a dentist if you feel that you can do it safely. But in the meantime, try something like this. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.